What is up everyone? Today we will be working on trimming out this roof. Um, I got some corner trims to put on the end. I got some snow guard trim to put on and I got some ridge cap as well. But what I also have and I'm super pumped about is we bought, well actually we are gonna buy it, but my neighbor actually fabricated it for us and blessed us with it. And I wanna say a special thanks to Bob. That was so awesome, it's just such a gift. Um, he fabricates all kinds of things out of metal but he gifted us a cupola to put on this roof and he made it extra heavy duty, put glass in it, uh, put a hook in it so we can hang a light. So we're gonna try to illuminate it, drop a cord down through the ridge. Um, super stoked about it. We'll just see how it kind of comes out. Um, it is halfway through the day by the time I got all the stuff here and the lift, um, but it is warm even though it is cloudy. So we'll kind of see how it goes. Um, just kind of show you how we actually do it. Um, I'll try to film as much as I can. So the cupola is fairly heavy. We were able to use the skid steer to get it up on top of the scissor lift and the scissor lift up to the ridge of the roof. And my wife was very brave and helped me carry this cupola uh, along the ridge and I wouldn't have been able to do it without her. And it is pretty slick so I am very proud of her. And uh, she just was really tough and helped me out as much as she possibly could and uh, just couldn't have done it without her but we were able to get it. Um, it did take some time, but uh, we got it and that's what matters. So we wanted to make sure the cupola was centered in the roof um, lengthwise and sideways. Um, the ribs do make it be, a, was did make it a little offset, um, but not too much, maybe like five inches. We did use uh, some butyl tape um, to seal the flashing on the cupola because we wanted to seal it up as good as we could. And uh, then we lagged it down with some uh, lags, I guess. Pre-drilled it, went in, added some framing in the roof, pre-drilled it, put some lags in, um, anchored it down really well, and then uh, I worked on sealing it up. I did put a ridge cap and some closures in it because uh, snow possibly could get in there even though I tried to seal it up so I just wanted to put that in as, as protection and then we carried over the roof um, and we actually ended up mounting a light into it and hanging it um, and since it was hanging we really wanted the light centered in the cupola so ahead of time we went ahead and test fitted it put some uh, masking tape on where it would hang centered in the cupola and then when we got the roof up there we reattached the light to the hook in the same spot with the zip tie and used some magnetic hooks in the metal cupola to route the extension cord down. It took a little bit of time but it definitely was worth it. On. Now the cupola was complete and I could move to some trim. So this is our corner trim right here. It has a finish on both sides. You can actually use it for wall trim, uh, but it looks actually nicer than the one they actually tend for from the roof to the fascia. So we use this one. It's called an outside corner. It's got a bevel. But I'm going to put this sealant on this flange right here backside here because even though the screws have a washer that I'll seal it right here I'll show you like this underneath here there's no sealant so then the water can run underneath 
So, use this stuff, it's called butyl tape. I'm gonna run this out on the flange, only on the roof side, I don't think you need it on the wall. Um, and then I'll pull the paper off once I'm up there because it's really sticky. you how we cut it. We're not going to cut the whole piece. So we're going to actually bend it. So I'm going to go to where the peak is supposed to be, supposedly, and we're going to cut a 512 on it. So that way when you look up the center of the face and the peak, it levels. It runs plumb. It's supposed to if I did my work right. Here where it's square because it's the top and you can bend this only if you get rid of this profile so we're going to cut this through this part right and what it'll actually allow this to do is bend like that and it'll bend this will tuck underneath here once I get to the peak like I'm gonna put all my screws, even though I know I got roof decking everywhere. Um, a lot of times the pole barns, when you have purlins, you go where these screws are. So I'm just gonna make them follow this pattern so it looks nice.
Got my measurement, gotta go get the other side. So by the time I got the cupola mounted and the corner trims on, it was just at the end of the day. And the next day I had to start um, my ridge and some mylar trims. So right here you will see I am installing my ventilator roof closures. Um, and the roof was really dirty so I kinda had to clean it off to get the self-adhesive on the back side of the closures to stick. But I went ahead and installed these on both sides prior to installing the ridge. So I'm showing you kind of what this uh, vent enclosure looks like, kind of like a furnace filter material or a Brillo pad attached to a foam closure. It does it is sticky on the bottom side and uh, that's what I used to vent the ridge. I am putting my ridge cap on right now which is uh, actually bent for the pitch of my roof which is a 512. Um, so I'm installing that right now. I did snap a line um, to know where to put my ventilated closures and my ridge cap. I put the closures slightly above the ridge cap so the UV rays don't deteriorate it. Um, and then I come back and put uh, tack my ridge cap where my lines are um, on all four sides. Um, or I mean not four sides, four corners. Um, that's a good way just to make sure it's real straight. Then I come back and put a screw through each rib. And if you see me kind of struggling uh, with these shoes on the roof, it's actually really dusty and I actually have specifically designed shoes for metal roofing. They're called steel walkers. Um, they have magnets in them. They're really cool, but they do not work on a really dirty roof because they're just smooth. So I was sliding all over the place. I had to go back to my regular boots. So once I finished my ridge cap on both ends of the cupola, I was able to move on to my next and final stage of the roof trim out. And I was putting on my ice stops. And I did it in a similar way as I did my ridge cap. I snapped a line from end to end of roof. Um, I kept it near the bottom of the roof so it's more on the bearing wall. I don't really need it in the middle of the roof. Um, I debated whether to do more than one row, but where we are, we do get snow, but a lot of times it just blows away because we get so much wind. So I'm not really too worried about it. We're not like up in the mountains. So I'm putting these on, and what I would do is I would tack a screw on each end of the trim right on the snap line to keep it straight. And then I came in with my drill and I piloted holes every other rib, too. I put one on the bottom, one on the top and then I pre-drilled them all and then I'd pull that trim back off and I would wipe the ribs off to make sure it's cl really clean and then took a, a good high dollar clear roof pitch and put where the holes were piloted and also on the non-drilled ribs as well right where the trim was going to sit to help glue it on and then I would put that on and then I'd bring the piece of trim back and screw it back in place and put in rest the screws in and final to seal it up. I was able to complete both sides of the roof uh, trim in this day. Um, with this process it did take some time but I felt really good about it in the end and I think it'll hold up good and stay sealed. So I was able to get that all done um, and be able to smile at the end of the day. So that's what that matters. Hey, what is that for everybody? So we got this done now. This roof trim out is complete. We got our snow guards on. We got our ridge cap done. We got our corner trims on. And we got our cupola up. It is lit right now. I don't know if you can tell, but it looks so awesome at night. And we are pumped about moving forward on something else. So 
Um, hit that like button if you like it. Subscribe if you want to follow along. We got a lot more coming, and I think you guys will enjoy it, hopefully, as much as we do. Um, until next time, Josh out.